Fresh Spirituality is openness to the Holy Spirit. Through this, her adventurous character and natural sense of discovery did not lead to recklessness or foolhardiness. Allowing herself to be led by the Holy Spirit, they found new ways of looking at her experience, at things, people, and events in her life. So for you, as a UIC, how did you live out that particular trait that Mother Ignacia showed? For me, being open to the Holy Spirit led me to where I am today. I allow the Holy Spirit to guide me every day so that I can live I could live the life that God wants me to have. My everyday life was smooth in God. Like in my school, I always look for every good things and bad things as part of his plan. I open myself through communicating in prayers. Thank you. Of Mary. It was the restlessness in her heart that enabled Mother Ignacia to seek a future beyond what society has dictated. She did not stifle nor escape from this restless feeling. She sought the advice of someone more experienced than she was. She did not seek easy solutions. This itself is Marian inspired. So for you as a UICN, how did you live out this particular spirituality? I know what it means to ponder. It means to think about something carefully in your head, to weigh it in your mind. Pondering the heart, not only considering, but also trying to put things together and doing with with the heart. As for me, I always listen to what my restless heart says to me, um, especially as a student. But I carefully think of everything and, the gui and ask guidance to those people who are more experienced than me towards life's decision making. I always seek God for the answer, but ponders with the heart through praying and talking to Him. As a UICN, I'm sure that you are familiar with Mother Ignacia, right? Yes, I am. So during the time when Mother Ignacia tried to establish the Beterio, now known as the RBM, she faced many challenges that would make those around her think that she should just give up. However, she pers persevered so much that it eventually led to birth to the RB RBM. In your life, how have you applied the virtue of perseverance? Uh, when I was a student, I always strived for excellence. And when you strive for excellence, that means persevering to achieve your goals. Uh, there were times when I failed, for example, say, uh, for example, in quizzes and exams. But I always came out trying to do my best, and that uh, that were uh, those were the times that I persevered until I became a professional. Thank you. struggled to make the Beateria work, she faced poverty and criticism. But due to her great faith, she trusted in God's loving providence. Eventually, benefactors came and supported the Beateria until it is called RBM. In your life, how have you applied the virtue of trusting in God's loving providence? There have been many years in my life where my plan did work out as a plan. For example, I became a clinical pharmacy student where I, where I am working in but here I am now, thank you to God that I've learned so much and meet wonderful people because I trusted in this plan. Father Ignatius' life of charity was rooted in love of Christ. Her intimacy with Christ was the foundation of her life. She did not wait to receive. She freely gave out of the abundance of her heart. The experience of intimacy with Christ was the foundation of the Beateria community. As a UIC hand, how can you live out that particular trait? So intimacy is quite synonymous with closeness. And closeness to the Lord to me, in my life serve as a foundation of what I am and who I am going to be. This spirituality is very remarkable and 
fully to my intimacy Christ is through faith and trust in Him. And I feel Him in my heart when He comforted me when I cried. He taught me, He rebuked me, guided me, and loved me for who I am. to follow her vision and realize her dream. She could take risks because she had that courage rooted in strong faith in God. In your life, how have you embodied the virtue of being courageous? As a UICN student, um, being courageous means acting despite fear. Just like when I entered this institution, I faced my fears for new environment, new people, and new life.